Welcome back to Soda City Live, everyone. Access to basic feminine hygiene products is a necessity, of course, but did you know not all women can actually afford them or even have access to them? At the end of the month, though, there's going to be a local event aiming to bring awareness to it all, along with period poverty. The color selected to drive it all home is pink, of course, for the second annual Rose Shower. Joining me today is the brains behind it all, Deanna Wiley. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. So first, let's start off with the rosé shower. What yes. is it? Sounds like a fun event. <laughs> Sounds like one I'll have to come and observe. Yes. <laughs> so you tell me come. all about it. So the rosé shower is an event. It's meant to celebrate women and bring awareness to feminine health care because we are people we know are ourselves might be dealing with cancer, mm -hmm. um, infertility issues, hysterectomies, fibroids and endometriosis. So um, okay. it's pretty much just a celebration of women to bring awareness to that and celebrate to be heard, to be seen, to be celebrated and also period poverty too. We have some pictures from last year's <laughs> kickoff event yeah. and it looks like a great time. When you say celebration, you really do mean yes. a party. Yes. Uh, tell us why you use this platform of the so, rosé to bring awareness. So. I actually went through a hysterectomy at age 36. Um, I suffered with fibroids for 10 years. Um, it was a battle. It was a lot emotional, physical toll on me. Yeah. And it got to the point to where I could barely get through a day. So after I had a hysterectomy, which is my only choice pretty much to get my life back, um, I wanted to have a celebration and celebrate with my friends, my family, and the people who supported me and were alone right during that journey. So I wanted to embrace this new stage and um, bring awareness to feminine health care and period poverty at the same time. While I am blessed, there's a lot of women who cannot afford to purchase those products and go through the health treatment that I went through. So literally, I just wanted to have a party and celebrate. And so instead of me, so it was kind of my version of a baby shower. Yeah. So I was like, but I want to drink rosé. Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to take the most masculine symbol in our city, William Bryce Stadium, and turn it pink for a day. So. I love it. That the, the reasoning behind it all is powerful and very yes. deep. And thank you so much for sharing your story of because course. I know that's not easy to bring attention to. Um, when you talk about period poverty, let's be transparent here for all the ones out there who may not know exactly what we mean when we say that. So what is period poverty? So period poverty is just imagining not being able to do daily things while you're on your cycle because you do not have the funds to purchase those feminine products during wow. that time. Wow. So actually like one in four women actually struggle with, you know, deciding between the necessities of food or other things and purchasing period products. And so, yeah. so they miss school, they miss work, and it causes a perpetual cycle of poverty. So they're not able to move up in life. So Wow. It. And it's hard to, you know, even imagine that some women deal with that. I know mm -hmm. in other parts of the world, uh, feminine care is free or it's not so expensive. So to know that those are challenges right here in the U.S. and most likely in our backyard, you know, you're helping to bring awareness to it all and put it into it. Um, so for the Rosé Shower, you have to be 21 and up to yes, join in on the celebration. It's an open bar, Rosé yeah. and Frosé. So. <laughs> and what what uh, what else will be happening? So at this we event? will have DJ Tio, she J T O. Mm -hmm. She'll be the DJ. We'll have a 360 camera. We'll have a lot of fun. Other um, onto female entrepreneurs who are going to be um, providing their services too. There's a few surprises, so it's going to be a really fun event. We have access to the field to take a fun photo op and pink carpet and have a fun time. So. It sounds like a fun open bar. Yes. DJ She. JTO. J JTO. Yes. Absolutely amazing. Matter of fact, that's my store. Food, too. food. <laughs> And then Williams Bryce Stadium, and then yes. the color pink. So yes. it's going to be a good time. There it you go. Is. All the components of a fun time. So the yes. second annual rose shower happening on January 28th. It's a Saturday, so you can come out and enjoy. Yes. It's going to be at Williams Bryce Stadium, kicking off at 1 p.m. Where yes. can people purchase their tickets? So they can purchase on their website, which is www.colorosashower.com. Um, just please register. And also, if anyone wants to participate and help. 
um, bring awareness but not attend the event, they can also um, collect them in products and drop them off at Sister Care or state spots for the period project because there are beneficiaries too.